So here it is, my Glock 17 Gen 4 TLR1 Tac Light by Streamlight. It's got the True Glow TFO fiber optic and night sight front and rear sights. Um, here's uh, it's obviously a nine millimeter. Um, my duty mags, 17 plus one, um, and then my training mags. I have these ones. So I drop them in the dirt, do combat reloads, that kind of stuff. It doesn't damage them. And then this magazine, 33 round. Uh, that one's just for fun. Throw that in my EDC, and I carry as many bullets off duty as I do on duty. So uh, it's my uh, duty weapon that I switched from the H and K USP 45. I went to the 9 millimeter, and I went to the Gen 4. As you can tell, I uh, went in to pick it up, and the guy at the gun store was like. Look at these, we just got them in. So he uh, showed it to me and it was the same price as a standard uh, Gen 3 uh, Glock 17. And it was about a month before they actually were supposed to be released. And he got an extra shipment because he sells so many in my state that uh, he got preferential treatment from Glock to uh, get these out there. So anyways, it's a uh, fantastic very accurate. I've seen some things on YouTube and people commenting that it's not accurate and those people, uh, the problem lies with them, not the gun. The gun is very accurate. So, um, I'm going to break it down, kind of show you some upgrades that they did on the Gen 4s. Um, one sec. So here it is, disassembled. Um, some of the main internal differences. Um, it's going to be this recoil spring here. It's a dual opposing springs. It's actually got metal um, on the inside that actually takes away from the recoil. I was told that it's mostly for the larger calibers, the 40 and the uh, 45, but it does amazing things for the 9mm who already has a light recoil. So, anyways, this is the after the recall spring, the original ones, they did a voluntary recall. Um, called Glock up and they had it to me within three days. I had a brand new one to throw in my weapon and they, uh, they asked that I send the other one back. It wasn't mandatory, but I sent it back to them so they could uh, look at them and see what kind of data they can get since they helped me out. So, anyways, it's kind of the interior, the internals of it. The spring, obviously the barrel, and then the uh, slide itself. Some of the other things that they changed, obviously, the, the ability to do back straps, the oversized interchangeable um, magazine release. You can just flop it out. All the mags that came with it are ambidextrous, so now you can do left or right handed on those. Um, so that's it taken apart. So now I got it all put back together. Magazine release or slide release is up here. Uh, mag release you can access. I have big hands, so the gun felt pretty small in my hands without uh, the large back strap on it. Um, just a great combat pistol. Good for fighting. It's, uh, you know, I'm not out there trying to win beauty contests with my guns like some people when they're 1911s and how fancy they say their gun is and all that stuff. I, uh, <clears throat> I want a gun that I'm not going to be worried about breaking and falling down or getting wet or in the snow and all that stuff. That uh, That's not going to phase this firearm. It's what it was made for. So a lot of people talk trash about the 9mm, say it's a small round. The only bullet that can kill people is 45 is what I hear a lot. Get a lot of uh, a ration of crap for carry 9mm, but all I say to them is shot placement, not the size of your bullet. So, and a 9mm, I've seen kill more people than a 45. Um, so, just saying, 9mm is a super fast round. It may be small, but it travels. I believe twice as fast as a 45. I don't know. I'm not uh, into all that stuff. I know it is a fast little bullet. Same thing like the 223. It's a small bullet, but it travels really, really fast. So, anyways, if you run into anybody who demands that the only bullet that kills people is a 45, look at their truck. They probably drive a gigantic one, and they need a uh, step stool to get in it. So, pick the bullet that works for you. Make sure you're accurate. Train with your weapon system. Pick whatever system works for you. This one works for me. 
and uh, you can't beat it on price price of spare mags 20 25 bucks um, can't beat that my H&K used to be like 50 bucks per mag it was terrible if I broke one so anyways um, that's an overview of uh, my Glock 17 and uh, thanks for watching